Hey guys, it's Jamie here, and today I'm on the mob boat. I am so nervous. Um, like, I seriously. I, oh, my stomach is churning because I want to sniff her down so much. So this is live, basically, um, that I can't fast forward. I don't know who's going to win, so you're going to see my reaction live. Um, oh, two minutes left. I am going to boost my health so my body can handle the... Is that me? My voice? I don't know. So, right now they're going to... YouTuber? Shark! Okay, wait, dude, I'm, I'm, actually, yes. I'm actually running a lot of days. Actually, in a realistic Minecraft. Uh, I'm waiting okay. for Loverfella. Like I'm here. Who's Grant? Don't watch him. But, but I know who he is. <gasps> um, that, a zombie horse? What? This is Uh, but yeah, I'm so. Oye, está super fiel, eh? Here. Because I'm going to sniff her around so much. I mean, I'm with plants. Who are you? Um, so, oh my gosh, I'm just so nervous to react to the vote. So, while this is going, please subscribe, um, like the video, or just comment. Anything it will grow with your help, so just subscribe, please. Another guy I watch. Um, oh god, like 45 seconds. Um, that's the one. Let's go. Uh, I'm so nervous, but you know, guys, I'm so excited too because. Twelve Minecraft Bridge. Actually this is like the, this is oh, hitting all the correct parts of my brain. You might actually get the sniffer <laughs> in Minecraft. You saw my Or the rascal or the tough golem, which I don't care about those. I just want sniffer. I voted so. And I think it could also be up to me. I pretty much everyone I know says I want sniffer. But, okay, starting. Or Mo Yang, or however you say it. Hello and welcome. I'm Hi. your host and chief storyteller of Mojang Studios, Lydia Winters. Hi. We have an exciting show for you Hello. today, packed with all things Minecraft. And you'll hear How it directly you? from the amazing people making it. Hang out with us yeah, as we show you our new game, well, Minecraft Legends. See what's going on in Minecraft Dungeons, find out about the next Minecraft update, and a lot more. If you love Minecraft, you're definitely in the right place. Okay. Welcome to Minecraft well, Live 2022. That's slightly creepy. Isn't this only like, it's not that long, isn't it? It's like 10 minutes this show. Wow, that's like all the mobs. This is, what is that? Frogs. What is up with the frogs? I'm disturbed. Why do they love the frogs so much? Oh, it's Alex. <gasps> furnace! Wait, could we be getting a furnace minecart update? That would be amazing. Okay. Hello, Minecrafters Hi. of the world. Hello. I'm Boo Booey, and I'm here to Hi. talk about what I've personally Boo decided Boo is the coolest part of Minecraft Live, um, the mob vote. Yes. As you may have noticed, we've done things a little yes. differently this year. Yes. But first, let's take a look at our three mob choices that <laughs> you, the Minecraft community, <laughs> will choose from. The one that wins the vote will be fully developed and added to Minecraft. 
First, Sniffer, we have please. the Sniffer, yes. an Sniffer. ancient mob that hatched from underwater eggs. They loved plants and could find Sniffer. seeds by sniffing the ground. If you vote for the Sniffer, you can revive this mob that was thought to be extinct and maybe even get some new plants. Cool. Next up, we have the Rascal. This mischievous oh mob lives underground and loves Rascal playing mob. hide and seek. If you find it three times, choice, it will give you a prize. If you vote for the Rascal, you can play hide and seek for loot in Minecraft. Can't you just do that and with last your but certainly something? not least is the Tough Golem. Yes, it's loot. These stony mobs can hold items and move around your base. Yeah. If you vote you for the Tough Golem, you could set up your own moving art exhibition. Yeah. Okay, so you know the so. mobs. Now, how do you vote for them? We wanted it to be really easy for yeah. everyone to get a chance to vote yeah. this year. For the past 24 vote. hours, Minecraft. we had an in-game no, server that you could thing. jump into and cast your yeah. vote, and it just closed. But yeah, there are still two ago. ways you can vote right now and for about 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Either head straight into the Minecraft launcher and click the Minecraft Live tab, or head to minecraft.net slash live and vote there. Dot. Which yeah, mob okay. do you want to see in the game? The Sniffer, the, sniffer, the yeah. Rascal, or the Tough Golem? If you haven't okay. done it yet, sniffer. go cast your vote now and be a part of deciding sniffer. on the future of Minecraft. I did it. Now, let's go to Lydia, Magnus, and Kevin okay. to hear all about our new game, Minecraft Legends. What's this? I actually don't know. I only have Minecraft. Legends hold great power. The legends we hold dearest are legends of hope, of creativity, what are and of bravery, and friendships that change the world forever. This is the legend of a united overworld. United by you. Minecraft okay. Legends is a brand new action strategy game from us at Mojang Studios in partnership with Blackbird Interactive. And okay. I'm here with two of my amazing colleagues. Hey, Magnus. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hello. Okay, before we talk about the game, I'm which just I'm really ready this. to do, could you tell everyone <laughs> what you do at Mojang? I uh, sure can. Oh, wow. I'm uh, the so creative excited. director at the game studio here in Stockholm. Nice. And know. Kevin? I am the narrative director so for the game studio stuff. in Stockholm. So you're going to so tell us all this, about so. this amazing game we've yeah. all been waiting for. <laughs> and oh my gosh. first, I want you to tell everyone, what does it mean to be a legend? I'm so nervous. I think the best way to start answering that question is to talk about storytelling in Minecraft. Mm. Stories in Minecraft mean something different than in most games. They do. Uh, in most I'm games, nervous. most of the time, it, it's the, the game gives you a story, and then that's the story that you, that you take. But in Minecraft, it's all about the stories that you make. Bye. And so every time you log yeah. on, I log on, all of our players log on, the stories that you make to all of our players the stories you make so, are the most important do. stories in minecraft so with that understood uh okay. i think what it best means to be a legend when we first announced the game we did so with a scene of a villager reading a bedtime story to a villager child and i think okay. we can all understand that feeling okay. of closing your eyes and hearing uh, an impossible story that maybe you maybe isn't all true but you wish it was maybe parts of it were it's those kind okay. of legendary what ifs really that we're going to add in minecraft legends for you to put Wait, into you your next do. minecraft story I really love that. It feels super complex, though. You're taking a game so many of us, mm. we know, we love, we've been playing okay. for a long time, yes. and then you're trying to interpret it no, into gonna... something new. How do you do it? No. <laughs> it's, it's not yeah. easy to make a game. It never uh -huh. is. But uh, yes. this game, especially, like in, with a new I team, both this, internal a little bit, when we just, do. you know, learn Minecraft, and not only the game, but the whole experience of Minecraft, because it's larger than Sorry just about games. That. And then Working together mm -hmm. with Blackbird, in Blackbird Interactive in Vancouver, Watch just it. getting them into that spirit, I'm so stressed. you know, spirit of the game, connecting back to original right. Minecraft, Emoji. you know, just Emojis. recognize what's going on in the world and so on. Connect with every, everybody around uh -huh. that and focus on what we want to do with this game and get the new stuff in there because we do want a differentiation between our games as well. But you oh, still want on, it, really. I mean, you're really bringing the spirit of huh? our original Minecraft game and the feeling of, you know, happy. you're huh? like, we're in this beautiful place. It's different than Minecraft, Sniffer. but it's something special. Where are we? A little familiar Sniffer, still, uh, but welcome to the Well of Fate. 
Uh, the Well of Fate is where we start hmm. uh, our adventure in Minecraft Legends. It's where you what enter the world. Um, it's really the heart of the overworld hmm. in this story. Uh, and it's a place where over the course of the game, hmm. you're going to make uh, some very important friends. Dun, dun, I think dun, we'll dun. talk about it a little bit later. We definitely will. I just love how... Love you know, you feel the Minecraftiness of it right away, the spirit of Minecraft. But you're also, you're adding so many new things. You come to the Well of Fate and you have, you get really awesome tools. Mm. I'm stoked about them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you come to the Well of Fate in the beginning of the game, you will be given a couple of tools to, that kind of gives you your ability um. in this world and in this game. Uh, so to begin with, you get the thing called the Flame of Creation. Well, I mean, that? I don't need to know anything else. That's just so <laughs> That's cool. what you want to have, right? <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, the Flame of <laughs> no, Creation we'll is kind of like Normal making it possible for you to build spawners that can bring new fans. friends into the world that helps you out. Second thing you will be given is the Banner of Courage. Mm -hmm. And if that's a banner that you can wave in the air and that will make the, your friends follow but you. And then is. you can point them in different directions and tell them to do different tasks for you. And okay. maybe the last, last but not least, my favorite, the loot. Mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. you, give a you are given a loot that you can play and that, you no. know, just no. play some music and that will bring in the alleys no? into the yes. world. They love music and they will help you to gather materials mm. and build buildings and stuff in this world. Cool, and everybody's going to get okay. to see a lot of that as we play through and show There's a lot some. more mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. Minecraft Legends than people have seen before. Throughout the show, we've asked our creators to send us questions so they can ask them directly to our team working on it this and you two get the first short, one. Right? Right. Ooh, nice. Hola a todos, yo soy Alan Pool 98 y mi pregunta oh, es, hay muchas cosas en el juego que se sienten familiares, pero se ven y actúan English de manera German, diferente, so. como los Piglin. ¿Cómo enfocaron el diseño de nuevas versiones de cosas que ya Spanish. conocemos de Minecraft? That is a really good question. That is. And uh, every good legend uh, needs some good legendary danger. Definitely. And the danger in this game uh, comes in the form and the smell a little bit of the piglins. Um, for yeah. a while now, we've thought about, Oops. players have thought about what happened if the nether would come for the overworld. Uh, <laughs> and so even as far back as when the nether update okay. for uh, vanilla was being worked on, mm -hmm. uh, we started thinking about, we had zombie piglins in the game. Uh, yeah, what I might they have been in a slightly less icky form? <laughs> slightly less. <laughs> slightly <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Relatively. Firm. Yeah. Here's an image of that uh, kind of like from relatively early stages when the term mm -hmm. Pyre that Kevin is talking about, like how we explore how to, Did you it? know, change mm -hmm. things in the game and like feel like if they are now a total zombie state, how can we get them to be at least a relatively fresh thing? <laughs> it's like so a transition over their time. <laughs> Here's another no, fantastic just, piece of art from that time yeah. period. Kind of like this is an again, era where we kind of like started to find that great balance between, you know, being super cute, pigment. but also feeling a little For bit fun. of danger. It's so. really, they're one. really cool. And you actually have added different but. hordes. So there's different mm. piglin hordes that um, are going to, yeah. I mean, really? not be nice, yeah. basically. Yeah, <laughs> it's an old a, one. Like yeah. no, we have uh, several different hordes and they... Kind of like they, they bring different things to yeah. the game, so they look different, they play different, and you know, I just Sorry, act differently so you can around. get the new experience each time you encounter a new one. And I mean, action boat, strategy, though. what does that mean in this game? <sighs> yeah, that's, it's a so bit of a new thing for us and for many games. It's a unique combination in many ways for me. And uh, we oh, make games that we love to play. Uh, yeah, we have many sure. people at the what office who right likes to play strategy games. So therefore, we want to experiment a little oh bit with gosh. that. And but another thing with Minecraft games, you always have a hero and representation of okay. the player in the game world. So that's super Sorry, important. I'm just so nervous. And like, and when you have a hero, you want that hero right to be now. able to do some you stuff, right? Left. So that's where the action combination comes here, in, and so on. So you, you can ride answer. around, and you can have a fun time, um, and uh, just you know. Uh, swing your sword More a little bit, have uh, some environment, environmental it's gameplay as we see here. You know, call call those Alex. things uh, my cat. Uh, jump Great. caps and they're like super cool. Also, just around, jump, jump around, swing your sword a little bit and uh, with your sword you can defend it against a few made. numbers of piglins and so on. But first and foremostly, we also have the strategy um, part where you're actually a commander in, in the game. Like Huge bringing your friends to help you fight because you can't take on the big, big threat means. on your own. That's awesome. And you have friends in that, you know, are fighting amazing. alongside of you. We have some friends that guide you, but you mm -hmm. also have just a lot of Those pure cuteness. 
Overworld. Yes, there <laughs> is. Uh, well, the Overworld <laughs> in Legends is a very peaceful, cozy place. You can kind of look stuff. around us and see. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of mobs who will show up and be very curious uh, about the hero. There's a little tur turtle following the hero there. Uh, some of the mobs will be familiar to players of uh, mm -hmm. Minecraft already. Uh, but there will be some uh, new little faces in there as well. And like I said, most of these creatures will be curious and will follow you Ooh, around and, and start to learn about that. you. Uh, but some of them may help out a little bit. Uh, for example, our friend the llama. Uh, turns llamas. out llamas really don't like piglins. And you know <laughs> what happens if you make a llama mad. Whew, good. Okay, so we'll take them. Only the llamas with yes. us, maybe. Yeah. And you've added friends that, Kevin, you talked about earlier, that we would we would talk more about it. You're, you added friends that really guide you okay. in the game, which is yeah. so cool and very unique to oh, Minecraft Legends. So yeah, this is new for uh, for Legends and the Sorry. the kind of gameplay that we have here because the. Uh, well, normally when you play Minecraft, you show up and, and the world is open to you and there's really not a lot of immediate pressure. Uh, in Legends, however, the piglins have terrible manners. Uh, they're not going to give you any time. So but I want to just hang out in the with the bounce caps and the cute well, animals. There, yeah, there will be some time there, <laughs> okay. but in the meantime, no, piglins. Yep. So, yeah, so uh, as soon as you Why arrive in the world, um, at the Will of Fate, like I said, you will meet already. some friends called the hosts. Done, uh, and the hosts are interesting there. characters uh, that you'll get to know across the course what of the game. Uh, and on screen, there's a shot of them is uh, on the left, the tall one is foresight. Okay. Uh, on the right, the little one is knowledge, and the middle is uh, action. action. And foresight, knowledge, oh, and foresight action are the characteristics when we started thinking about these characters That's that we think all Minecraft joke. players, we all demonstrate every time we play Minecraft, is we see a hill and right. foresight is coming up with a dream of what might be up there. Uh, knowledge is the understanding <laughs> of the crafting recipes and the ingredients that you need to make that real. And then action is the mm -hmm. oomph, it's the hard work to make that a reality. So foresight, knowledge, and action will help you uh, across the course of the game yes. um, and uh, hopefully become your friends. I really love that. And Yen's actually headed into Legends Yen's. to meet up with the hosts so that you can all get to know them more. <laughs> Welcome back, Jens. What can I do for you today? You're always so helpful, Foresight. We've been friends for a while, and I felt it was time to return the favor. Thank you. Anything I can do to help you with that? Your timing is perfect. This Let is us so hope your courage is as well. Come, action waits for us through the portal. Action! 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 Where are you? Oh, hello. Nice. Nice little kitty. Hello! Oh, Action! Really it's like good to see you. Like I'm glad you're back. We really need help protecting the overworld. Do you know anything about that? Mm, maybe a thing or two. Good. Somebody has to help us put an end to this. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but we might need a few more reinforcements. Yes. Where's knowledge? Is it knowledge you go to? I'm assuming no. Knowledge. Actually, the piglins are moving faster than we thought. We need more time. Knowledge. What should we do? Right now, we run! Honestly, right. I feel like no. action and foresight huh? should be the boy's knowledge to the girl. Surprise! I don't know why I think that. Just weird. Ooh, is that another right uh, now? Uh. The piglins can talk. Cool <gasps> no rabbit, no! It's not nice. Hopla! Good job, Jens. Oh, Jens. <laughs> He's a brave Jens. Yeah. He was really yes. brave. Yep. Ah, oh my. <laughs> Red skies. They're that means more like piglins. It's not that means it's time for us to actually jump into the game. Over. We have four amazing people ready to play from our team at Mojang Studios. Hi, Anna. Hi, Telemarcus. Hi. And from our friends at Blackbird Interactive, Haley. Hi. And hi, Pete. Hello. Uh, Pete, we're going to start exploring with you, so let's jump in. Let's do oh, it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who is that cool, cool animal? So this here is the Regal Tiger. It's one of the many new mobs that you'll see in Minecraft Legends, and it's one of the few that you'll able be able to ride. That's so cool, and throughout the game you're always riding on one, and this one looks really fast. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's one of the reasons why Please it's my favorite, and also because it's so adorable. It is really adorable. So where are we going to go? 
Uh, well, I got a couple things planned where we should be heading over to help okay. the rest of the team battle a piglin base, but there was a few things that I wanted to show off first. I see the Well of Fate. Yeah, you sure do. So this is the Well of Fate, as you mentioned. It is the player's home away from home Fate when they're lands. in the world of legends. It's uh, where you start the adventure okay. and you return here many times throughout the course of the game, so you'll become very familiar with it by the end. Okay. It's so beautiful. I love how peaceful and nice it is here. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. So actually, here, I'm going to scoop up some friends. So you're using the Banner of Courage. That's right. You just wave it around oh, whenever there's a friendly mob quickly. nearby, and they'll follow you around. So we're gonna get uh, get a group of animals going here. Ooh, nice! Yeah, quite a quite a bunch of cuties. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna take them for a swim, just for fun. Okay, so they're coming with you for fun, that's but not right. to fight. That's right. I mean, <laughs> look at that pig's face. Would you send that face into battle? No, yes. definitely not. I, don't think so. <laughs> I would protect it, though. I'm ready. So I had a couple more things I wanted to show. First off, with oh. the alays, I'm gonna Alays? ask the the alays to gather this tree for me. That's really cool. Yeah, you can see him tearing down that tree. Um, play, uh, players will be familiar with uh, vanilla Minecraft, uh, breaking down the world and rebuilding it block by block. Kay. In Legends, we like to say that you do that thought by thought. So the player just has to say, you know what, I need some wood, and then you ask the lays to gather it for you, and off they go. That's so amazing. So they will stay there and just keep gathering yes. as you go well, about your journey. Amazing. That's you right. Guys, you can you, you can send them off to gather life. resources while you do more important things. They're really yeah. nice friends. They sure are. <laughs> they sure are. So, so right over here is the next thing I wanted to show off. This is very similar to the bounce caps that you and Magnus were talking about. These sparkling bushes in yeah. front of me are called speedweed. Now, speed? the player just needs to touch these and they'll get a speed mm -hmm. boost. So we're going to use these here to that. rip through a few biomes and head over to the team battling the piglins. Nice. Off we go. Wow, we're really fast now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So we're heading into the jungle here. Oh, we're going to hit some more speed wheat, and then we're going to hit these bounce caps here. Yeah, no, I'm not so we're going to be that. super fast that and jump super fun. high. Well, maybe we'll maybe some of our uh, little cuties will catch up, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We might be too fast and too jumpy <laughs> for them. Yeah, yeah we're not making it easy on them, but um, I, I have faith that they'll be oh. able to keep up. Yeah, Whoa, this is gorgeous. No hunger bar, though. Yeah, this is one of my favorite biomes. It's um, partially because of how much fun it is to run across wow. the treetops like I'm doing here, but also There's just because of how nice it looks. Oh, it's beautiful. And the mangroves are there. Yeah, that's oh, right. Mangroves. So I wanted to show off this nice bird's eye view. Here we go of the jungle. You can see all the beautiful trees and stuff. And the world is randomly generated, so it's always going to be a bit different. Uh, that's right. Everyone's world will be different. The world is, is just like it is in vanilla Minecraft, where, you know, from one player to the next, the world is generated differently. So it, it makes the experience unique. Very Minecrafty. <laughs> yeah. We're going to head over to the Badlands next, but I've spotted something down on the forest floor that I want to show off first. So I'll head over what? here. And this, this is the okay. second thing that the allays do for you. This is an allay chest, and essentially the allays will keep these stocked with resources. So you can find them in the okay. world, crack them open, see what's inside. There we go, I got 107 diamond. Thank you, allays. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so as you're exploring the world and you find those uh, chests around, be sure to open them up, because the allays always have gifts for you. Okay. That's oh, some of my friends managed to keep up. Yeah. That's great. good job. <laughs> oh, hello, little llama. You should come with me. Here we are in the Badlands. Oh, wow, so this nice. is the second biome I wanted to show off. Definitely not as friendly as the beautiful jungle. Yeah, yeah. This one's a little bit more hazardous. We've got some red thorns over here. Be, be sure not to walk into those. Those can deal damage. And there's a lot less trees. So there's a lot less wood resource in this biome. So you have to okay. keep that in mind when you're when you're planning uh, planning ahead. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that doesn't look great over there. <laughs> no, it sure doesn't. This this here is the piglin base. Now you can see the portal over there and the, the yeah. corruption that is spread throughout the world from that portal. Oh, yeah. And that's why we're here to stop it. we got to destroy that portal so that this corruption doesn't spread any further. Okay. Well, okay, now spread. this is the last thing that I wanted to show that the LAs can do. I'm going to switch my hotbar here okay. and I'm going to get well. get the LAs to build me a bridge across this river. One click and off wow. they go. Building so we this have bridge. the blue allays are gatherers, and then the yellow ones are building things. That's exactly right. Okay. And then they're both filling chests of oh, awesomeness. I mean, they, they are really great. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. So I'm actually going to drop these friends off here. I don't want to bring them into battle. I don't want them to be hurt. Yeah, I'll be back for you later. <laughs> Okay, next is the spawners. So here we are. We've got a few of them. These are player-built structures, and there's one for each type of mob. And essentially, you build them, you get your lays to build them, 
and then you cool. interact with them to spawn some mobs. There's so this is a creeper spawner. Oh, there's creepers. We're going to spawn ourselves a couple of creepers. I would say I've never been happy to spawn creepers, but maybe <laughs> today is the first time. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. You know, we're all we're all aware of how dangerous they can be, but yeah. when you use them against the piglins, they're extremely effective. And these are some new mobs, which I love. That's right. These are the grindstone golems. So I'll grab a few of those. And then next, I'm going to get a couple of the plank golems. And the strategy really comes in when you're deciding which mobs should be fighting the piglin hordes, because you're doing it in different ways. That's exactly right. So what the player is going to do is they're going to come and check out the piglin base, much like this, see what sort of piglin units and piglin structures in the base, and then pick their mobs accordingly. I see a lot of action, so we're going to head over to Lee that and go great. like in Lots the middle of battle. People. We sure are. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> yeah, Lee's riding across that bridge there. She's got a whole bunch of mobs with her. Whoa. She's going to send them into battle using the Banner of Courage. So that big piglin over there is a lava launcher. That is one of the most dangerous piglins you can find in the Horde of the Spore. This is a Horde of the Spore base. And uh, that piglin, you really got to watch out for those. They can attack long range by shooting magma cubes at you. They can also do short range stomp attacks okay. to destroy any mobs nearby. And Leah's actually put her uh, Elise to, to work helping out building those towers. That's which is right. really cool to actually have more defense. That's mm -hmm. right. The towers that she's got on the left and right side of the bridge here, those are arrow towers. They're going to shoot arrows at any piglins nearby. So um, what we're doing here is we're essentially um, moving our way into the base, taking out the piglin structures, setting up structures of our own, battling the piglins, and making a safe path towards the portal in order to take it out. So send in a few more mobs in here on the um, lava launcher to try and take it out before we move in on the portal. Now, Lee's been being handed off the mobs from uh, one of our other players, from Anna, and that's a key part of the playing the game in, my, in uh, Legends. You have to uh, make sure to use teamwork, everyone working together against the piglins. Oh, that lava launcher looks like it's in trouble. Oh, it's in big <laughs> There's trouble. There's a lot of mobs there. It's in big trouble, yeah. It doesn't have much time left. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Lava launcher down. Okay, do you think we can take out this portal? Oh, I know we can. Take it out. Because we have a secret module. weapon. And then I can post this and I can... Here oh, we go. there's our secret weapon. Yeah. Telemarchus. Coming and in with <laughs> the, the first of stone. See this giant <laughs> mob behind him? Scooping up a boulder, okay. flinging it into the portal. That's the first of stone. Oh, and the health bar's already down so quick. Oh, yeah. These piglins <laughs> didn't know what hit him. <laughs> Game over. I totally wouldn't just... 13%. A couple old. more shots. Oh, I'm older. Opla. I'm a teenager, Great job, team. I play with Legos. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I'm going to ask this on behalf of myself and everyone else. When can we play? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I get that question all the time. I buy daughter Mai. And, and my boys, yes. Boys yeah, well, yes, yeah, yeah, a lot. But yeah. And I'm happy to tell you today that it's spring 2023. So. Oh, wow. That must be Not so exciting. Far. Very, very, very. I mean, you've been working on this a long time, so... I know we all can't wait to see the community playing. Yep, absolutely. And we're very excited for you all to play in spring 2023. Okay. And for the cool. first time ever, here's the beginning of our game, the opening cinematic of Minecraft Legends. Okay, more of this stuff. <laughs> Sounds like, like, so... 
Copyright Clive. Star Wars. Yeah, this is not so I can save my storage. Uh, I like the nauseous from there for some reason. I think in an hour. We start to get eight minutes ago. Hour. Action, knowledge, come with me. We Thanks. must witness this together. Okay. Yeah. In, in hours, when the vote will actually happen. Yeah, well, Mubalum says that I'm winning. Um, I find that a bit surprising considering this is like a cooperative game. Oh. Also, we're live. Why do they love Mooblooms? The mob vote for 2022 yes. is now closed. I okay. hope you got a chance to choose your favorite mob. Yeah. I know yeah. I did. Jens, what'd you think about the mob vote this year? Oh, I, I thought it was amazing. Like, oh, the team came up with three yeah. really adorable mobs, and I'm very excited to see which one mm. the community has picked for us. Yeah, it's uh, always an exciting thing, and there's still so much work to be done on the mob that wins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like w when you see the, ones, when the mob gets into the, the game, that's when you start really yeah. nailing down the details and you kind of figure out how, how does this mob interact with all the other mechanics in the game and what do we need to make it like a, re a really good mob. So the, the like approach. everyone on the team really loves Minecraft and wants to make the best mob possible. So now I'm sure they're very excited okay. to see which one takes the win. I think we all are. Since I have you here, okay. we have a creator question just for you. Okay. Ciao a tutti, io sono Carly e questa è la mia domanda okay. per voi. Nel trailer di Minecraft Legends abbiamo visto dei nuovi mostri. Li vedremo mai nelle nuove versioni di Minecraft? That's a really good question. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Magnus and Kevin, they were t talking a little bit about this because you see in Legends uh, okay. we have the lace. Um, and uh, the lace were created in for Legends to solve a problem. Like how can the player build and collect resources while yeah. focusing on the big picture of the strategy. Um, but when we thought about the lace, we thought about and also like what do, what do they mean for the bigger Minecraft mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mythology, okay. if we would call it so that. And what would it mean for, for anyway, the vanilla experience? Yeah. We um, have the so chance to bring them into uh, we, uh, we We thought about a lot about it and okay. included in the last year's uh, mob vote and mm -hmm. and uh, thankfully the community voted for that <laughs> yeah. one. I'm happy about <laughs> But of that. course, then we needed to make sure that it worked well for for Minecraft uh, and uh, yeah. like the, that kind of gameplay. We had some yeah. some things were of course like the way it looks and that it loves mu yeah. music. That was like. Yeah. Part, of, part of its essence, but uh, okay. it needed to work well for Minecraft. And similarly, okay. like Kevin mentioned, like the, with the piglins, mm -hmm. uh, that like we wanted to make sure that piglins work, work well in vanilla. Okay. Uh, so that that is kind of how we think yeah. about many mobs in all our games, uh, and uh, they may okay. or may not move to other games. But it has please. we have to ha it has to fit like it has to have an opportunity essentially yeah. and yeah, uh, obviously in Minecraft Legends it's a legend okay. and many of those really special ones will probably remain a legend. That's okay. cool. So Jens, mm. I have a really important question for you. Haven't you ever wished you could just develop your own mob for Minecraft? Well, I, I, anyway, I mean, now you can do just that. Yes. Wait, what? Oh. The Entity Wizard tool uh, is a tool that is built with uh, our friend Yanis on Blockbench and allows okay. for a simple way to quickly make an entity and get it into the game fast. That's It's cool. accessible and easy for anyone to get started with. Okay. You're not really guessing as to what a mob does, you can actually just take that as an archetype and I say, I want this to be like a bear, and then just build off of a bear. It makes it very easy. The okay. main purpose of that tool is to make it super easy, and it walks you through all the steps. Okay. It tells you, like, it suggests things that you can pick from, it gives you templates to pick from, and then I think from there you can just start creating your own mob from scratch. Killer I 
think all of us really, really want yeah. to see our own mobs in the game. Like we kind of, kind of dream so about fun. having this new animal or this new creature. Or maybe there was a mob vote that didn't go our way. Mm. Hashtag team Copper Golem. This tool allows for anyone who has an idea uh, to kind of express that and put it in the game and try it out themselves and see what it would be like. My favorite bird is a hornbill toucan. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I really wanted to say, like, can I actually remake a hornbill toucan? And I wanted to build it on the parrot because that gave me all of the gameplay features that I wanted, mm -hmm. and it would make it easier to make it look like that. You might as do well. this. So knowing both what if you I want it to up. play and feel like, and what it looks like, combining those two together really leaves you in the right place to start. So scared. If you're scared about it like I was, you can just start by painting an existing mob. That's one of the cooler things of the Entity Wizard. You can just base it on a mob that already exists. And then if you're comfortable with painting, then work on changing the model itself. So changing the dimensions, changing the shape around it. Get that in the game. I hope you that? find some resource to oh get you started here, creepy. whether it's art tutorials, whether it's the block bench tutorials, whether it's a YouTuber that's made a video on this stuff. Uh, see what okay. other people are doing out there, get inspired, oh gosh, download cool. this tool, and just start seeing what your creativity like can bring and try it out. I would probably make like Star Wars. Banana. Stuff. Hmm. This one's actually going to be really difficult. How do you make a curved object in Minecraft? How does that work? But <laughs> I think I've actually done okay. It's going to need some eyes or something. Do you reckon we could make it's like a face? Medium. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. We do that and then yeah <laughs> okay that actually looks kind of cool i thought it was going to be massive do you do anything do you oh you walk okay this looks like an adventure time character okay. i always dreamed of being able to make my own stuff in minecraft and now i can we can't wait to see all the cool mobs you all make. I'm not saying I'm still holding out hope that my Alolotl from last year will go in the game, but I definitely am. The coolest thing is that these are the same tools our developers and marketplace creators are using to create new things in the game. Minecraft Marketplace is full of fun content you can't get anywhere else. And today we have a first look at something many of us have been waiting for. What? Oh, hi there, Minecraft family. My name is Jim Lee, and I'm the publisher and chief creative officer of DC Comics. Just I'm here to announce please. that we are bringing Batman to Minecraft oh. in a brand new DLC world launching Man. very soon. In this DLC, you'll use Batman's gadgets to explore Gotham and take on villains like mm. Harlequin, Penguin, and more as you unravel Joker's nefarious Star plot. Star Wars was my favorite one. To celebrate <laughs> the release of the Minecraft Batman DLC, you can get the free Batman cap in the if dressing room right after Minecraft Live. Like work on I know, I know you want to hear more. Well, then check out it, this amazing trailer problems. for the Minecraft Batman DLC Sometimes right now. I'm not gonna buy this. Unless you guys tell me to. Yeah, if you tell me to buy this, I will. Mean, I'll do it. It's my skin. If you tell me to, I will. But I, yeah. Please in the comments, should I do this for you guys? Look the sneeze though. A little cool on me. Not the coolest. Hey Agnes! Oh. Hi Lydia! I know a lot of the community know you, but for those who don't, could you tell them what you do at of of Minecraft? Course. Oh, Minecraft. <laughs> okay. yes. Hello everyone, Bravo. lovely to meet you. I'm Agnes and I'm the game director for Minecraft. And Agnes, Agnes, later in the show, you're going to tell us about the next update. Oh yes, okay. so we will show some lovely new things and we will actually do it in a bit of a different way okay. this year because it's important for us to learn from previous years. I'm probably not going to I cannot wait. Record for that. I'm very excited. I know a lot of us are. And then I'm but first watch that I wanted myself. to know, have you ever okay. wished that there was an opera for the warden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All the time? 
oh yeah, it's like my biggest dream. Well, Element Animation has made your dreams come true. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I want to see this. Come down to the dark. There's no one around. An Wait, the portal was lit. With riches to be found. But don't make a peep and be light on your feet. Cause if you make a sound, there's something you'll need. Yeah, the portal was lit. Future update confirmed. It just needs a whiff, and it can find you with one sniff. Run. You steal and you run. 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 Go. Go for speed. Four hours. And guys. Yeah. Like blue bloom. Okay. Wait, you can go through Come blocks? To the dark. I should have known that. My vote. Okay, the votes have been tallied and it's time to Hey, what's going on? Tiny Voo's doing what? Yes! I can't believe it worked! That average size Vu always gets the glory, but it's finally me, Tiny yes, Vu, who gets to shine. The, tough the first round of the mob vote has been tallied, and now I will tell you whether it's Goodbye, the rascal. sniffer, the rascal, or tough golem that's been voted out. Okay, Goodbye, here it is, Goodbye. my big moment. Goodbye. Drum roll, please. Not no. today, Tiny Vu. No. You have voted and we have counted and okay. wow, so many of you joined the mm. vote this year. Over three and a half million oh, wow. Minecrafters from around the world. Well, <laughs> out of the Sniffer, the Rascal, and the Tough Golem, the mob with the least number of votes is the Tough Golem. Oh no. Goodbye, little Tough Golem. You will live on in our memories. But okay. the exciting Sniffer. part is still to come. Towards the end of the show, we will reveal the winner okay. of the mob vote, the victor who will be added to the okay. game in a future update. Are you excited? There's yeah. still hope for the mob I voted for, so I'm very excited. You voted for Sniffer, I think. Have you ever played Minecraft and wondered, yeah. what were they thinking? I think I was actually the 10 million subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our YouTube channel to find out I'm sure if I you will, really want to open I that door. And then I went refresh the page and had 10 million. You can also ask specific questions and we'll answer before. them. We really had to figure out how to make it look smoother. <laughs> That's how the LA works. <laughs> I mean, I've seen how it looks and I think it actually looks really, really good. As a screaming goat. <laughs> okay. Stay up to date on what's coming up. <laughs> Will home screen. That is a lot of Or hang out with us as we play games and dive deeper into everything we reveal during Minecraft Live. What? <laughs> is there something behind the Far Lands? People usually ask me, what type of Minecrafter are you? And I don't know what to answer. I'm just a Minecrafter. <laughs> Step into our world and subscribe to our YouTube okay. channel. Bring back the farmland. We lands. are overjoyed to see that now over 10 million of you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. I was 10 million. Thank you to all of you who watch and enjoy the content we make. It's because of you that we get to keep making awesome Minecraft videos. Now, let's talk about Minecraft Dungeons. And oh. for that, I will of course invite Laura to... No. Don't want... <laughs> 
is like quite the entrance. Dungeon. Jealous, huh? A little bit. Anyway, when you're not being rolled around on thrones, can you tell everyone Kay. what do you do at Mojang Studios? I get rolled around, <laughs> yes. and I am also the lead designer for Minecraft Dungeons, which means that I get to contribute a lot to the creative work in the game, okay. which is amazing. That's so cool. And Minecraft Dungeons has been on sure. quite a journey the past few years. Yes, it's been a crazy ride There's since launch, and we've released so many things. So I thought we could begin by watching a bit of a recap of the game. All right. Oh, jungle combo. Wait, okay, I said that wrong. <laughs> okay. I don't really care, I just want to update my the map Actually, I kind of want Minecraft Legends. That Dungeons, sorry, not Legends. Legends. No, Dungeons! Would it be a warden? That's the question. The hidden depth? That's a warden. Okay. The end. I fill in void. So yeah, like the end. Oh yeah, that's a mute sentence, so that's echo and void. Body find seasonal adventure. This game is fabulous. Is that a skulk black following in this night seasonal adventure? Okay. Now it's called plain old Minecraft. Wow, so much great stuff has already happened. It's been so much and we, it's been so great. But I think now that we've looked at the past a little bit, we are ready to talk a bit about the future. Maybe. I think everyone wants to hear that. Yes. And uh, the amazing going. thing is that yeah. now we're ready to announce that we're releasing Seasonal Adventure 3, which is called The Fauna okay. Fair. And uh, it is all about pets and new okay. animals to come to the universe of Minecraft. Okay. And here you can see we, cool. we started with some concept Aww. art and we have some all some ferrets, some penguins, and my personal favorite, this which is, is the hedgehog. <laughs> I see why. Yes, and it's tiny and it rolls around and it follows you through the level. Yes. So yeah, it is my please. favorite, but the final art of it's the mobs cool. turn out so wow, good. Cool. I think the penguins fit very well in camp and we also have chickens and the clock shroom from Minecraft Earth. And What's yeah, Minecraft tons Earth? of cows please even. Tell me and the woolly cow. Below, yes, I told our don't emo know. cow. Uh, <laughs> we are very happy about it and it's so cozy, but okay. the whole season will revolve about pets so mm -hmm. all the rewards you'll be able to get through the season essential. are around pets so you'll get like cow Subscribe and turtle cow. caves and well, yeah, all cow. the emotes are going to be cow. about Subscribe animals so you'll be able to pet your pets or you know be a bit of a chicken <laughs> yeah. or a bit of a dog why not that's, that's perfect and Food. also very flashy flares like the the cat one and yeah all sorts of cool animations okay. that you'll be able to get. That's all really I'm exciting, so but you also get to talk about a new mission. That's right, that's okay. right. What's Tree this? Top Tangle is our mission set in the jungle biome. Uh, and we're very okay. happy because we are releasing this one for free, which means oh. that all the players that never got to play in the jungle DLC before will okay. get to explore the jungle. That's so cool. And it's this massive tree and you run around in the okay. branches and inside okay. of the tree itself. So I think it is a very different experience because yeah. it's such a vertical level. So. Yeah, I love that. You always feel, you can okay. feel that you're way up high. Yes. yes. And uh, I think we should also talk about my favorite thing. Your though. favorite? Uh, it is a bit of my baby, but in dungeons, you've never gotten the ability to replace your enchantments. Mm -hmm. You know how you get a piece of gear and they come with their enchantments. And uh, we're finally releasing the Enchant Smith, which is a new cool. merchant that will move into your camp. So in. cool. Yes. And Normal it will allow you to re-roll your enchantments, if you will. Villager. Okay. Well, I think everyone's going to be excited about that because I know I have been waiting for something like that. It's great to be able to change these enchantments. Yes. Okay. But we have a creator question. 
just about that. Let's watch it. Hi there, my name is Steph Sanyadi. I'm head narrative designer at Padia Gaming, and I'm also a gaming content creator. My partner and I love playing Minecraft Dungeons together, but we've always wanted a way to change up our enchantments. I heard in the new update there might be a way to do that with the enchant smith. Can you tell us more about that and how it's going to work? Okay. Yeah, I guess I can I'll give a few more details. Let's see. Mm. So you'll be able to save the enchant smith in high block halls. And after that, they'll move into your camp, mm -hmm. uh, and you'll be able to go up to their booth and select a piece of gear you want to re-enchant, select an enchantment you already had, pay a bit of gold, okay. and the enchant smith will re-roll it. Just for a little bit of gold. I mean, you have to pay them for their work. Yes, yes, pay yes, it is their job. Yes. <laughs> and feature me I think like the I saved the best show. thing for last. Okay. So... You know, yeah. last year we talked about the tower, Please. which was a new feature, and okay. it is that space where you go floor by floor, Mom, defeating oh, waves of mobs, They're and you get watch. stronger as you go, and at the end you get an amazing They're reward. Strong. Oh god, no. that's awesome. You're defeating mm -hmm. waves of mobs, and you get stronger as you go. Hello. Hey! <laughs> Isn't that my throne? It that's awesome. Yes, and today we have here with... So this is set in the end, okay, sorry and about that. Uh, this is a demo I balanced myself, uh -huh. and I made this level a bit easier for okay. them. Okay. So, Not so I think they should have a good time in this floor. Please. They they did quick work there. Yes, and as you can see, uh, Kelsey and JP are playing in uh, couch co-op, mm -hmm. but you'll also be able to play this in online multiplayer, and uh, you'll be able to play with up to four friends. Uh, so yeah, same okay. as, as in the rest of the game, like whenever how somebody joins or somebody show? leaves, the game will adapt to how many you are and, okay. and balance its difficulty. Uh, so we're very happy of how smooth that turned out. Um, yeah, and I see these two uh, doing really well here. Yes, it is, it, you know, I, I wanted to really give them a bit of a novel. head start and a bit of a leeway. <laughs> Please say goodbye to my school. I love for me. how beautiful this level is. Oh, yes. they cleared it. We want to try to keep the whimsical, mm -hmm. like, vibe of the tower. Mm -hmm. So we thought the end biomes were very good for that. And, oh, here you can see, like, okay. when you choose a uh, new piece of gear in the tower, you'll be able to see what your friends are choosing also. Okay. Which means that you can strategize with each other. So, oh, you choose the hammer, I'll choose the crossbow, mm -hmm. uh, and then, okay. you know, you get that melee strength and I get yes. the range strength. Mm -hmm. So you then know. you work well together. Okay. Yes. I made this level harder. Okay. So, to give them a bit of a challenge and uh, we'll okay. see how that goes, I think. Oh, I think it it's be already there. looking a little bit tough. Yeah, but here you can see like how you collaborate with each other. Like you put the totem of healing, yeah, and then you can all heal. It's exactly, and then you you both get it, and uh, you can protect yourself. So I think I really really like the strategy that it brings to the table. Okay. Uh, to be able to play multiplayer is such a different experience, mm -hmm. and uh -oh. I might have done this one a bit too. Yeah, hard. maybe you were a little mean on that, but they did a great job. I mean, I need to show the challenge in the time. <laughs> you definitely showed the challenge. Okay. So everyone will want to know, when do we get this? Very, very soon. Uh, um, Seasonal Adventure 3 is coming on the 19th of October. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So super soon you'll get the Enchant Smith, Treetop Tangle, Tower Multiplayer, all of it. Okay. That is awesome. Yes, but there's also one other thing that is coming on October, the 26th of October, to be precise, and that's the Spooky Fest, yeah. which is now a tradition in the Dungeons world. And um, okay. this year you're getting more rewards than ever before. You're getting six pieces of gear. Okay. Uh, and I'm super happy how they turned out. They look so pretty. And uh, you'll also be okay. able to get those pieces of gear in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, uh, which ooh. means that you'll be able to get spooky all around. That is great. Wow, you've shared so much. Thank you so much, Laura. I mean, it's... Oh. oh. Thank you. I'm not ready. Well, as usual, the Minecraft Dungeons news was Kay. fun and exciting. Now, let's take a look at something on the inspirational side. Now more than ever, the world needs more hope, curiosity, and peace. Kay. Bringing the real world into the Minecraft world enables us to explore places we've never been, dig into real issues in an accessible way, and immerse ourselves in history to shape a better future. Experience life through the eyes of animals living in some of the coldest habitats on Earth. Hunt in a whale pod, 
build a cozy nest, protect your cubs, all while learning about the ways climate change is impacting these frozen worlds. These five Minecraft maps are inspired by stories from the Frozen Planet 2 series, created in partnership with BBC Earth. Head to warmer climates to explore swamps of mangroves, an incredible super tree species found in 114 countries. Including Join the Mangrove Restoration Project and use seed cannons to restore okay. these essential mangroves in a world struggling from climate change. Okay. They're called climate superheroes because of their innate ability to sequester carbon. Hey, oh Don't miss gosh, a chance to learn about these scary. ridiculously cool trees. In Latin Explorers, okay. journey with leaders in the community as you help them solve tough challenges. Please, I just Meet want ordinary the people doing extraordinary or things, like preserving uh, butterflies, delivering medical supplies, and creating murals to speak out against injustice. This world was created in partnership with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation to help young people build leadership skills cool. and inspire local action. Peace. Learn from history with Peace Builders, a series of adventures created with the Noble Peace Center and Games for Change. Meet four Noble Peace Prize laureates and help them avoid and solve conflict, learning the skills needed to craft peace. Clear landmines to save a Cambodian village. Protest the unjust apartheid system. Support refugees after an earthquake. We can all help create more peace. Okay. All of these amazing worlds are available for free in the Minecraft Marketplace. Together, we can build a better world. Okay. It makes me so happy whenever I see all of those worlds. <laughs> it's beautiful and inspiring. And actually, I think for us, it's not this only like be beautiful that we really try to make the real world a better place. I even think it's a responsibility because we are lucky to have so many players and that means that we have quite a lot of impact I and that needs to come with that. a lot of responsibility too. And that's the cool thing because to me it's, okay. you know, it's not us doing something just... by ourselves as a company, it's always with our community I and know. like the best <laughs> ideas come from the community I and so know. many people that love yeah. our, love the game the you're way we do. Here. Yes, it's super inspiring. Mm. I, uh, so Agnes, you're going to tell us amazing. the next update. I will yes. soon. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I would actually love yeah. to take some time to talk about what we have learned from previous years. Oh because my God, we wow. have announced some features that we didn't manage to deliver. Okay. And it's important that we learn from that and that we take action this from that. This is the part I'm excited for. So, for example, this year, we will only show features that have come very, very far in the development process. Because, yeah. like, with Minecraft yeah. Live, we want to celebrate this, like, mm, lovely game <laughs> together with our amazing okay. community. And we want to create player dreams. So when we show new things, we want, like, to inspire the players. And I remember okay. for myself, like, a long time ago, before I worked here, I used to watch mine cons <laughs> and, okay. and I remember seeing new things. I'm like, ah, I want to build this thing with this block. I want to go on this adventure. And we want to give these kind of dreams okay. to our players. And then it's so important that we feel 100% confident that we really can deliver on these dreams. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, it feels like we would tell everything at Minecraft Live, mm. and then you had to just so keep up with that. You, you couldn't add anything or kind of change things. No, yes. What's the update so, going to be? Like in recent years, we showed like the full update almost, and then we were just chasing it for the rest of the development process, and it well, it caused stress. So this year, we think we will have time to really like iterate on the features together with the community, of course, mm -hmm. uh, and also it? to add features that we haven't showed yet, like that we haven't showed today, because okay. like we know we already have so many ideas, and also during the development process, both okay. us and the community, so many ideas gonna pop up. And those are also often very, very charming. So we're happy that we will have like okay. more time to really explore this update together. Yeah, I love it. it lets the team be more creative. It lets okay. us be creative with the community yes. and like <laughs> kind of see where the okay. path takes us. And also, it's really exciting to get to hear new things like throughout the year too. So yes. I'm excited. I'm yes. so What's excited. happening? <laughs> What's happening? But what can you tell us about the, the update? Of Minecraft. I mean, I can tell we'll quite many video. things, wow. but actually, first I want to tell you that we have decided to not name it yet. 
So for now, we will call it the 120 update and it will be released in 2023. Okay. Uh, and the reason for that is that we want to shape it like throughout the development process together with the community. So it's going to have more than archaeology. Like Minecraft is it's some kind of like magic almost to Minecraft. Though. And I think one of the key things that create this magic is that Minecraft is community fueled. Absolutely. So, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> we both came from the community yes, before. Yes. <laughs> so, so let's name it when we all feel ready to do that. But you do have a theme. So oh, yes, like yes. some some <laughs> things to think about. <laughs> we do know what we want to achieve with the update and we have a vision. We just want to be like flexible enough yes, so really the community can be part uh, of shaping it. Um, and what we want to do with this update is that we want to make Minecraft Minecraftier. <laughs> Perfect. Sinus, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we want to do that by focusing on like certain parts of what Minecraft is. And oh. those are like the creativity, it's okay. uh, like self-expression and intrinsic motivation. Mm. So what we want to do with Minecraft, we okay. want to inspire and enable the players to be creative in their own ways and to express themselves in their own like unique, beautiful ways. And in this update, like one way we want to do that is to enable self-expression through representation. And I think it's so beautiful because, you know, being able to do what you want in Minecraft is the core of what it is. So I'm really excited that this also lets us shape it with the community <laughs> and all of you being creative. So we do have some awesome features to show. We and have. our first guest, Chi, is here to help us show them. Welcome, Chi. Hey. Oh, it's your first Minecraft Live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and true. can you tell everyone what you do at Mojang? Uh, well, I love to play the game at Mojang. Uh, I'm a fan, uh, but I'm a 3D artist on Minecraft. Okay. And you've worked on some super cool animations for the game. Everything from like really scary, like the warden. Yeah. And okay. really cute, like <laughs> the frogs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so adorable. Yes. They, they just, you know, their stroll is very <laughs> iconic. Thank you, you. You're so good at it. Like, you feel something. You're so good at it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear it. So I have a creator question to kick things off for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. konnichiwa.私からの質問はこちらです。ワイルドアップデートのトレーラーやキーアートにいたのはスティーブとアレックスだけではありませんでした。新しいキャラクターたちは誰でしょうか。オッケー。わお、シーリーライクソースアンイースターエッグ our goal with Minecraft is always that everyone should feel equally wel welcome in the game. Okay. And for us, this is like one step towards What's reaching the update, that goal. Though? Okay. That is a weird sheep thing. That's a Yeah, you're dead. Oh, who's that? person should have died. What about, what's so special about the redstone porch? Collect the sheep, llama? Light that thing. Lots of new default skins. Wow, really? it's a lovely video. Yes, we've added seven new skins to Minecraft. Wow. Uh, these skins are a wonderful collaboration within the company. Um, yeah, we, we, f we really care about feeling represented in Minecraft. And okay. I think with these skins, we did that. Just get to the update. And I think, I mean, you're going to start seeing them a okay, lot. This is yeah. an yes. hour long, my video. So, and it's not only that you can play with them in the game, you will also see them in like trailers, key art, merchandise. So you will really get to know these skins or it's, like characters. Yeah, well. it's 
it's really beautiful because now when someone starts the game, if they haven't made a new skin yet to like represent themselves, they also can pick one of these and feel like it's closer to who they are, which is so awesome. And these awesome skins are coming soon. They weren't ready for live, so you won't see them in everything here, but everybody's going to get to know them a lot. And Agnes, you have something else to tell us about. Okay, yes. Oh, yes, there are more features. And the first one we want to show is a very charming block called Hanging Signs. What? Yes. <gasps> These hanging signs are super colorful. Ooh. And the players can uh, use strip logs and chains to craft them. Oh, I like that. Oh, they're That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes Beautiful. me happy. Finally something uh, We cool. all know the sign blocks and what they do. And these hanging blocks, they're very versatile. Uh, you can Kay. craft them with every wood types and they have three different states. Okay. Oh, and here you can see the different variants. So the first one here is when you hang the hanging signs from a side, yeah. from the side of a block. And this one is like the base one. So it I has two it. chains and it's when it hangs under a block that's Kay. quite wide. Yeah. And then, my favorite, mm. you can see it has like a V-shaped <laughs> chain. And this is when you hang it under something that's Kay. narrow, like under a fence post or under a chain. That's so pretty. Love okay. it. They're yeah. really cool. I love how much storytelling too, even from that, Kay. because adding them to different places it's super awesome. What about archaeology? Yeah, uh, we love that uh, when players like use these, um, use our blocks to do something mm -hmm. else. Like, uh, for example, create like really colorful flags with them. Okay. And during our play tests, yes. uh, one of these like um, uh, things oh, we I did was <laughs> yeah, c connect beautiful. like uh, two villager house together and create these colorful. Yeah, yeah, flags. <laughs> it's like a festival feeling, I especially like I think the crimson cool. and warped wood ones. They're yeah, really, really pretty. pretty. Yeah. And what Agnes, about? you've said for a long time that your favorite <laughs> block is the sign block. Yes, okay. <laughs> there's a good reason for that. <laughs> so long time ago, I think maybe 12 years ago when I played Minecraft, I haven't okay. hadn't really found my play style yet. And then my okay. little brother, he started to place signs on a castle he had built. And he was like, this family lives here. And okay. these the names of, their family, of this family. And that inspired me a lot. So okay. I started to do that too. So I started to like name different villages and okay. families. And like they work with this in this house. So okay. the sign block really inspired me to what tell else? stories and like build my world, like do and world building with, with Minecraft. Warden so portal? I do love signs and the hanging signs. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think that hanging signs will overtake signs Ooh. for you for me a bit but what i like with the hanging signs okay. is that they are a bit more yeah. expensive to cross mm -hmm. so i will use both okay mm. very nice i love that you are using them for storytelling but also i loved your creative use of them coloring the skies and i can only imagine okay. like our community is going to do things with this we've, we've never thought of oh, yeah. <laughs> They're always so creative. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes, so you have okay. something else to tell us about? Oh, yes. Uh, we have created a beautiful new wood set for bamboo. What? Oh. Like with every wood set, look at this. Bamboo. Let, you have the planks, you have fences, you have trap doors, you have doors. Oh, and look, look at the beautiful so pattern. I love, <laughs> so love pretty. Oh, yeah. patterns wow, yeah. on the trap doors. <clears throat> So good. Yes. And I love, like, I like they're that. so good to use as windows, for example. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. It's a really beautiful That's new wood cool. set. It's amazing. And uh, one wow. of our goals with this wood set is that we want players wow. to feel represented, players who grew up with bamboo in, in real I life. And uh, I think that wow. we managed to make this uh, amazing wood set very unique and beautiful. Our artists did a very good job. Yes, okay. definitely. Yeah. And you're adding a, okay. a special block in this set only. Yes. So the bamboo wood set actually have a block that no other wood sets have. And it's called bamboo mosaic. And you can see it here. Oh, wow. wow. I think it's very beautiful. It's and amazing. <laughs> I, when I see this, so I'm like, oh, I want to build floors with it. <laughs> bamboo, <laughs> Wouldn't bamboo, it be very mosaic. pretty floors? It's, mm -hmm. I mean, they're beautiful <laughs> floors and I mean, it's beautiful in the whole building. And I think oh, wow. what I love about this wood set is how well it matches with other blocks, even though it feels so different too. It like looks so beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can really mix it 
mix the blocks yeah, together. Look, yeah. Yeah, like with the copper and even the frog lights. Even the frog lights. Yeah, but more than that, I mean, I'm very excited because I think if you're able to What build your yogi? real world in Minecraft, like that's so exciting oh, for people. Mm, okay. Yes. So oh, look at that. Girl. Yeah. Like look. with that, it stands like on the fence post and, and in the mangrove cool. swamp. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah. And you're going to have a boat? Well, not exactly a boat. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to have a raft. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. It works the same as a boat. It also okay. has a chest, but it looks more adventurous. That is like, cool. I love that fantasy of being like on an adventure on a river and then it's on a raft. I think the like storytelling and role playing oh, wow. possibilities of that is, is really lovely. This is actually really exciting. Yeah, I definitely want to get stranded on an island, <laughs> make a raft, oh, yeah. <laughs> like a bamboo jungle with like a panda. <laughs> it's really fun. I mean, I, I think it's so so what? cool what to add that. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go down caving like rivers. And stuff. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> like in the waterfall or or in the cave on a raft. Mm -hmm. oh, that sounds fun. Oh, that sounds that really bamboo. fun. Would you? Thank you it's so bamboo. much for telling us about <laughs> those things. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have Nir joining us. Hey, hey. Hi, hey Nir. Nir, welcome okay. back. Thank you, thank you. This set is so amazing. <laughs> I know it's so okay. cozy. It's I'm just turned nighttime. Yeah, this is cozy and nice. I'm, I'm just waiting for the villagers to come out so we can trade with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Oh, Ag Agnes is a villager now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have my emeralds on me. Huh. Nier, uh, for those of you who don't know, what do you do at Mojang? Sure, uh, I'm a gameplay designer, which basically means I work on some of the new features coming to the game. Very exciting. You're going to tell us about those, okay. but we yeah. have a creator question first. Mm. 다가오는 업데이트 중 제일 기대되는 건 어떤 건가요? Ooh, that's always hard. Just one, she told you. <laughs> well, as a panda, I have to say the bamboo wood set. Okay, that's a very good choice. And yeah. what about you, Agnes? Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I think it's it a tricky well. question. Uh, I do love all of the features and especially like how they connect together. But okay. if I have to pick one, I actually want to pick one that we haven't showed yet. Well, <laughs> you can do <laughs> that, <laughs> Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> well done. It's called the Chiseled Bookshelves. What? Right. Yeah. So Chiseled Bookshelves is the new block that we're adding to the game. And you can interact with it to store one to six books. But oh, it's wow. not only books. It's also enchanted books and books and quill. So oh, basically, wow. this is where you're going to store the stories of your world. That's cool. And personally, I'm really excited about it because as a player, I love telling stories about my game. And I used to keep it in a, a physical notebook just next to my game, wow. uh, my, my computer. But recently, I started writing it in the world, sort of storing it in chest. And, you know, that was actually inspired by you, Agnes, and your amazing world. Okay. Yeah, and Agnes, you like you do the coolest storytelling oh in the game. Okay. I, I, you have to tell everybody about it because it's just it's so <laughs> in depth. I love it. Okay, well, yes, it is very nerdy. So <laughs> I actually write stories both in the game, in books, in game, and on a notebook outside the game. Mm. And those stories are written I'm from filming. different perspectives. So it's very important. Everything that happens in world okay. need to be written from like a perspective of someone that lives in the world. So from like characters oh. in the world, yeah. which means, for example, they write like history books. Oh, sorry about that. And the, the stories they write there, they might not even be That's true. That's cool. So they could be legends. They could be legends. Oh. So cool. But then in the oh, wow. notebook, outside the game, then it's my perspective. So then it's like, this oh is what gosh. really happened. Oh, I just the love that. I think there's, so can do both. I mean, seeing yeah, yeah. like the <laughs> stories written and then being able to pull them from the bookshelves, like I, I get so excited about it. And these will I also have redstone tired. capabilities. Yes. Which so is using a comparator, a you're actually going to be pull a redstone signal that's going to tell you what is I the last book that was interacted so with. And the there's many uses piece. for that. But personally, I'm going to make some secret bookshelf what? doorways and uh, hide some something love in there. What are you going to hide? Probably my uh, Agnes poster fans. She doesn't need to know. Okay. <laughs> and, and Agnes, fan. your storytelling. So how would you use that to like tell stories? This okay. secret oh, place. There's so many opportunities to tell stories. <laughs> like the first idea that just pop up, like I want to build a castle and I want like an evil queen to live in this oh, castle okay. and then she can like hide secret things. Oh. Like a spiral staircase down to like a dungeon or something like that. That is so cool. It would cool. be really cool. I want to make an escape room. Because oh, then you're like, try, and maybe the girls are in I the book. That. Actually, I no. I want 
someone in the community to do that, and then I mm. want to play it. Mm. That, that that's sounds a good better. Idea too. <laughs> I'm pretty that's sure someone else. That's probably made right now. Yes, right? exactly. It will be awesome. <laughs> and I mean, like a lot of the other things, you have this storytelling aspect, but then it's also like okay. they're really beautiful. Yes. Mm. They're really, really good to decorate with. So okay. I love. They really have like a fantasy historical feel to them, and that's actually a feel we want for all of Minecraft. And okay. have you noticed the top texture? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it like on the floor there. Now I'm gonna on talk the floor. I, Agnes. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm it gonna talk a lot about well floors well today. Walls but, as well. but it's also very pretty as a floor. Okay. But floors I think, are important. <laughs> yes. I mean, I think that's the cool thing whenever we get any new blocks in the game. It's like yes. being able to use them in different ways. So you yes. can use them as okay. the chiseled bookshelf, or you can be like, these like are the best floors you've things. ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the bookshelves difference. and the bamboo mosaic. Yeah, oh, exactly. Really on the block combinations and I'm sure yeah. the community is gonna come up with so many more things than us oh, yes. they're amazing and you have one more thing to tell us about yes that's actually a feature that's quite close to my heart because I grew up interacting a lot with these um, so maybe it's time to take a look at some camels camels <laughs> they say camels They said camels. Oh my god. Camels! No way! What about archaeology though? Oh. No way, that is so cool. No. No. We're getting camels and snippers? Okay, that jump was a bit glitched. We're getting camels and sniffers. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure we're getting sniffers. It's gonna be an hour and a half, ain't it? Those are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Tell cool. us more about camels. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, they're really close to my heart because uh, I, I remember well, growing up killed. going on field trips and sort of seeing them and riding them and actually have a really distinct memory of sitting, being this small kid on this huge animal okay. and sitting on them when on the ground. And when they gave up, the camels don't really just get up immediately. <laughs> they're like indecisive, rocking back and forth sort of thing. Camels and that was a terrifying experience as a kid, but oh, boop, so amazing boop. as well. And we talked about how this update is a lot about self-expression uh, through a presentation. And I just love that so many more people now this around the world can space. sort of see and experience they remember and or experience from video. their life in the game. Okay. Yeah, and I'm share it with someone who really hasn't not experienced it. Because right. that, that was happening. I really loved during the development process of Camels because okay. you had talked so much about like your experiences as a child and how tall the Camels so is and how they this. stand up in this like super weird way. And then... Oh, God when I got to play with them in the game, I'm like, it feels like you told me about. And I thought that was cool. That's really cool. Okay, and Agnes, here's a hard-hitting question for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Camels, horses, why both? <laughs> well, well, this is an important donkeys. question. <laughs> so we want to keep too. update Minecraft for like a lifetime, for 50 years or more. And that means that each thing we add needs to really fit within the Minecraft ecosystem. And this is, of course, true for camels as well. And since camels okay. are a rideable mob and horses are too, it was very important for us to really create a unique experience. Okay. Yeah, we worked quite hard on that, uh, trying to find a different niche in the game for both and may really make the experience Camel. different and unique. Um, cool and so there's many differences. For example, uh, horse are quite agile. Strifing right and left mm -hmm. is really quick in Minecraft. Kay. And camels are quite big animals, so they're a bit slower. Kay. But if you find a, a, a long stretch, like a straight stretch, maybe a, a relatively flat ground like in Kay. deserts, <laughs> you're, you can get quite fast actually. And that's helped by Kay. this new ability that they have called the dash. So using the dash, you can clear ravines okay. or even rivers, which we all know are the enemy of horses in Minecraft. <laughs> that is pretty cool. really cool. And yeah. another unique thing with the camels is that you can be two players yes. on it at the same time. Spit. And there the two of you are. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. Lovely adventure in the Badlands. And we okay. know that many of our players really enjoy to play together with their friends. Mm. So it feels good to have a feature where you really can go on a, okay. an adventure together. Yes. Now I, I'm happy that if we added it, Finally, my, uh, Agnes might invite me to play somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't no, know. I of 
Of yeah. course I will. Um. <laughs> and I mean, they're great for storytelling. And you okay. have this like, okay, I'm I'm taking you on an adventure. Okay. Come see what I'm yeah. doing. But you also, you know. There's another side to that. Yeah, exactly. I think that duality is really, camera really interesting. Because like we said, when you ride with them, you're with a friend, you're on an adventure. But it's very sort of storytelling, adventure Maybe. But there's another side Sniffer? because you can actually uh, sprint or with camels. Yeah. And they oh. go quite a bit faster oh. when you do. Oh. So, for example, in an action scenario at night, you can be out with your friend. <laughs> And Agnes, for example, is using the camel and moving around and dashing out of danger. And I'm with a bow, can sort of shoot and attack behind. And that collaboration, I think, is really, really cool. And as you can see here, the many mobs can't reach us because mm -hmm. the camel is so tall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, I get to feel how it is to be tall. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I know. But yeah, when so they're not attacking you, they actually look quite cute, I think, zombies. Yeah. Um, a little bit cute. <laughs> Maybe ugly cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I Kay. think that... Get you the fun part. I'm definitely going to be the Marble. one, you know, like, hopefully driving the camel. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't want to be I the one the aiming ones. the bow, but I do. Definitely. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah. It adds a lot, especially to be able to, to, you know, maybe you're doing a little both. You're Honestly, having a nice stroll, and then you're like, it turned night. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's fight this together. Here, yeah. But, I mean, I have to point out that they're also just incredibly cute yeah they are and they're especially cute. they are ugly cute mm -hmm. i think dopey <laughs> <laughs> yeah and as we can see we also have camel babies because you can breed them and something pretty interesting is that the item you're going to use to feed and breed them is actually a cactus and i thought that was oh, that so interesting when we like researched camels i didn't know that real world camels eat cactus yeah i've, I've seen many videos <laughs> of cact uh, camels eating cactus i thought it was really really interesting and also cactus is sort of an item that doesn't have too many okay. uses in the game so it's always nice again being respectful of all features yeah. sort of adding more yeah. uses to it that's really awesome nir yeah. thank you so much for telling us about those amazing <laughs> features thanks for thank having you, me nir. on october 27th during minecraft now you'll be able to hear more about these cool new features and okay. Agnes, you have one surprise for us. Yes, we do have a surprise. So previous years, you have been able to play test the new features like many, many months after live. But this year, we're very excited about this. <laughs> this year, you will actually be able to play test the new features in betas, snapshots and previews just a few days from now. What? Whoa. <laughs> We can't wait to hear what you think when you play test these features in a few days. Like Agnes said, okay. this is the start of features for update 1.20 and there will be more to come throughout okay. the year. It's almost the end of the show and we okay. only have the mall vote results left. Okay. But let's take a look back at everything we announced today. Oh God, no. Okay. 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 I'm so nervous. So close to being done. Jeb. Yen, yeah, sorry. Here we go. Okay. I feel like people are starting to get really excited. I'm gonna get the mob out. Okay. Can't believe us. I'm spending an hour and a half filming. I'm doing this video after I put it on YouTube. Do not have this taken up on the storage. Look at this. Okay, one more update. Okay. Camels. 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 What about archaeology? Filled with bamboo. Yeah. Then chiseling bookshelves. your messages, store your books. What about archaeology? You just quit archaeology? Now it's time to see who you all okay. voted okay. into the game. Ooh. Vu! Hello! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm farming. But you want the mob vote results. We do. I mean, the, the carrots are lovely. <laughs> Wait, they I want to get everybody out here. 
<laughs> nice throw. <laughs> Thank Resilient. you. So this is important because this winning mob actually got over half of the total <gasps> votes. Ooh. Sniffer. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Here we go. <laughs> and the winner is... Sniffer. Sniffer, please. Who? The Sniffer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, the Sniffer. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you God. voted, and now the Sniffer is coming to the game. Minecraft wouldn't be what it is today without all of you. From all of us at Mojang Studios, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. This took way too long. Peace out.